A GLOF, or a glacial lake outburst flood, happens because glaciers are retreating. Where there was a basin, or a geographic bowl essentially, that was full of ice, was now allowed to be filled with water instead. And the leftover glacier acts like a dam that keeps the water in place. But there will come a point as the glacier retreats that the water is allowed to escape. Now, are GLOFs unique to Juno? No. These actually happen all over the world, but it's uncommon for these GLOFs to impact communities, which is why the situation here with the Mendenhall here in Juno is so unique. Now, there are several ways that water can escape from the basin. One way it can go is over the top, which is called overtopping, or it can penetrate through the glacier, and in a sense, it can actually go under the glacier. Now, regarding overtopping, you can think of it like a bathtub, where as the water fills up, eventually it hits the top and starts to overflow. It's very similar with a GLOF. And actually, overtopping is something that we look for because it usually foreshadows the beginning of a release. Regarding subglacial release, well, draining begins when a weak spot forms in the ice dam and the water starts to flow through it, creating a channel in the ice. Now, as the water flows through this channel, the water eats away at the ice, making the channel bigger and bigger, and the water drains out faster and faster. Now, there will come a point when the water pressure in the basin decreases so much that the weight of the glacier overcomes the pressure from the basin, and the ice dams the water back up, and so the water stops flowing out. Now, predicting when the water will stop flowing out is what makes GLOF forecasting so difficult, because we can't really predict when the glacier will stop the water from flowing out again. Coming up in the next video, we'll talk more about the two types of dam releases.